Hello and welcome to my video series, Keep Psalms and Carry On, Seeking Solace in the Psalms. I am offering you a psalm to focus on and to enjoy, to bring peace and meditation into your own Christian walk. I'm offering this video not to explain the psalm, but to enjoy it as a tool of meditation and find your own calm and peace in God's Word. Let's begin with a prayer. Our Lord and Father, we thank you for the many blessings that you bestow upon us. Bless us now with clarity and with strength of mind. Bless us with serenity and the capacity to know you and feel your presence in us. Be with us now as we meditate upon the word you have given us. It is in your Son's most holy name that I pray. Amen. So the psalm I want us to meditate upon today is Psalm number 40. David, in, in his many psalms, speaks a lot about waiting patiently for the Lord. I've spoken of this in some of the other psalms that we've looked at and meditated upon as an important part of meditation. Slowing down, waiting, taking a breath. Now, here in this psalm, David tells us the results of his patience. God inclined towards him. God heard him, brought him from the miry clay. Look at that image. Think about it. When we are stuck, don't we sometimes feel this way? Stuck in the muck, sucked into the clay. God set David's feet firmly upon a rock because eventually this is what clay becomes, right? Solid rock. That patient pays off. There's an old cliche about quicksand, how flailing about only leads you to sink deeper, but calm, patient movements will lead you out to solid ground. A new song is in David's mouth. This patience will put a new song into your mouth. The key is that trust in God. We will get out of the miry clay with trust in the Lord. We are blessed how? Through God. And not trusting in the proud, he says, or the ones who lapse into falsehood. What reason would there be to turn to men who put themselves on pedestals? When God has no comparison, when his wonders are too numerous to count, David goes on and says that God's not looking for our sacrifices and offerings. David says, my ears, you have opened. That's a powerful thing to meditate upon. Let God open your ears. Let your ears be open to God. And with his ears fully open to God, look what he says. He comes to God that the scroll of his life is written that he delights to do God's will. God's law is written on his heart. How about that to meditate upon? And this gives David the bravery to declare this to the great congregation. God's righteousness that David has gotten is not meant to be hidden in his heart, as it is not meant to be hidden in your heart. Take this meditation, take this conviction and trust in God and de declare it to the world because it can be shared with them. If for no re other reason, we don't hold back our declaration of trust in the Lord, it is because God doesn't want withhold his compassion for us. We can be comforted that his loving kindness is truth will preserve us. Surely we have been surrounded by evil as David has and says in this psalm. Surely our own iniquities have been so great that we can't see past them, numerous as the hairs on our head. Well, some of our heads. David Hartz has failed him, as our own has sometimes. 
in those times, David says to God, deliver him. God, help us. Use these verses to ask God for help. There will be those seeking to destroy our lives, those who gain happiness through our misery, but God can and will humiliate them. We are not perfect. We have our weaknesses, and when we declare the Lord, they will be quick, as David says, to say, aha, aha. No, we aren't perfect, but don't let that take you back down into the miry clay. David tells us in the end here, let all who love God, who seek God, who are glad in the Lord, keep saying, the Lord be magnified. We are all afflicted and needy, and we need God's help. We need God to be mindful of us, to deliver us. Use this psalm in times of doubt and despair to lift you up, to lift your heart, and to magnify the Lord. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button at the bottom. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the Northfield Church of Christ's YouTube page, please do so and you will be alerted to other content like our Sunday morning worship services and our Sunday morning Bible studies, as well as an additional Sunday evening service conducted by our minister, Mark. So until next time, keep Psalms and carry on.